I mean, I don't know. Just some people aren't right, aren't really fit for this. They kind of got into it because they got lucky. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, there's some people that literally will get lucky, blow up overnight, and don't know what to do with all this fame. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. All right. I'm forced here without my will. <laughs> I'm being be forced so. to yeah. do this interview. <laughs> my friends welcome back and welcome to raking it in with rachel david i am here with brennan taylor aka just brennan on instagram yes i'm impressed with how I, you got I, just I snagged your name. it how'd you do that well i had someone do it for me actually a long time ago someone emailed instagram saying they own the copyright to the name brennan and it was an inactive username okay and then they gave it to them and then he gave it to me and then i had the username brennan since like 2000 and like Okay, 14 or you had an inside An inside person, get the account for me. Amazing. Well, I'm really excited to introduce y'all to Brennan. We just, I'm going to give you some context, first and foremost, Give's okay? Um, we just met at Playlist Live not long ago, maybe two weeks two ago weeks or so. Ago. And we just started chatting, we met in one of the lounges, and uh, yeah, we were just like, well, let's get together, film a podcast, hang out sometime. So yeah, really this podcast is for anybody who is looking to make video and content as their full-time job. So a lot of people are watching and they're like, how are these people making money on Twitch? How are they making money on Instagram, on YouTube? And I'm interviewing different people about how they grew and really how they're diversifying their income. Because fun fact, just because someone is really big doesn't mean that they're necessarily making a lot of money so brendan over here is a youtuber but started on vine that's true i started on vine you know i I did it until it died and i had 1.7 million on vine before the app closed 1.7 million yes followers yes okay and the app closed unfortunately but i already had like 500 or 400 on youtube at that time so i was okay like i was like i was sad you know because vine was dying but so then did you start off on youtube i started on youtube no 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 i i started doing youtube when i had like 200k on vine okay so and then i started promoting it all the time so i had like 400k by the time i had 1.7 why did you do that just because i wanted i wanted to do longer videos always like six seconds wasn't enough for me to show my personality so i always wanted to do longer type videos and so at what point because now what are you at on youtube like youtube i'm about to hit 1.7 million so i'm about to pass my vine Wow. Because I think I just hit 1.7 and then it ended. I'm about, I'm like at 1.691 or 6. Point, so two. did you find it was like there was a certain thing that you did that really like made it, was it just being consistent or was it like, yo, I did this collab and I just no, skyrocketed? I don't think collab, or... collabs like worked for a little bit a long time ago. I think it's more of just who you hang out with friends wise, you know, like your friends, like just making videos with your friends that are also like social media people. Who are your friends that are social media like people? Like Kobe, Brock, Big Nick, Bradley, um, Sam Goback, uh, Corey Shear, just like David Dobrik, like all, oh, Scotty Sire, all of the, just like a lot of like, everyone that came from Vine basically, because like we were all like a tight-knit community back then. Mm-hmm. So like we all still stick together. We're all like down to help each other out, be in each other's videos. Do you find it's like an unspoken sort of... Um like almost like a brotherhood, you know, like almost oh, like, like a fraternity. For Vine, like, from Vine. Uh, yeah. No, I definitely feel it's just like Vine. This is the difference. Like YouTube is very clicky. Like every all the YouTubers, like they have their groups and like they don't really go out of that. Vine, like when Vine was around, it was all like no one was getting paid to make Vines. Like mm-hmm. there was no money on Vine, so we are all doing it for fun. So you're 23 now. 23. What are your thoughts on like these? young kids that make a lot really fast like have you also seen people who just can't handle it um i mean or like it's just been like stupid and they just blow all their money and i mean i've seen people spend lots of money on dumb stuff but i've also like i mean i've never seen anyone like but they're also still like a creator so they'll still like make it back you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. like i've never seen someone like literally spend all their money and go completely broke Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know, just some people aren't right, aren't really fit for this. They kind of got into it because they got lucky, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, there's some people that literally will get lucky, blow up overnight, and don't know what to do with all this fame, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think the biggest thing I've even seen, like, being friends with so many creators and YouTubers, it's just like, they are at their height. I saw them be kind of irresponsible, and then think that it was, like, gonna last forever. Um, and so, have you sort of ensured, like, different ways of, like, 
you know, how to even manage that or like, you know, are you really active with like, this is an amazing time. You know who's good at that is like Jason Nash talks about this all the time. He's like, I don't know when this is going to end. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. he thinks that it's going to no, end no, no. tomorrow. Yeah, no, I always think about that. Like I have, a, I have a business manager and stuff like that that handles all my money and stuff. So like I, oh, cool. I like don't have... Don't worry about any of that, you know? And is that, like, part of an MCN or someone personal? No, someone personal. I have a whole team. So I have a business manager. I have, like, a legal team. I have an actual manager. I have... And I don't have an MCN right now, but I will be adding that on, probably. Really? What for? Just for more opportunities, more brand deals, more, like, for getting into events. And sometimes they do have better CPMs, depending on which ones you're talking to. Mm -hmm. CPMs is, like, a cost per monetization, or cost per mill, actually, something like that. So it's, like, money per... Uh, 1,000 views and it's really confusing because YouTube changes their stuff so often and their algorithms are so confusing that no one really like it's really hard to like calculate your exact CPM because like they'll tell you it's like a playback based like say for example they'll say it's like a four dollar but after like all the cuts that are taken from YouTube side mm -hmm. and then like from actual monetized views it could be a lot less than that so it's just it's really hard and plus with the adpocalypse thing that happened like everyone's Ads Were you got cut. By that? Oh yeah, I used to be a really like, I used to say bad words like every every other word that I would say. Like, I was so dirty. I had such bad content, <laughs> and like it was fine while things were fine. And then as soon as the ads hit, like, I my my channel tanked for a while. So then I cleaned really? I cleaned everything up. I stopped saying bad words. I bleeped everything. Like now I'll occasionally slip a bad word in because I forget to take it out in editing. Mm -hmm. Like I cussed so much. Like it was bad. Like like every other word was the f word out of my mouth. So like I stopped. And I think I, it helped me in like life because I stopped saying it now in life as mm -hmm. much. Like I still say it all the time, but just not as bad as it was. Like it was bad. When I say it's bad, it's bad. Like I used to say every people were like Brendan, stop cussing so much in the comments because I would just cuss a lot. But it's just because the F word makes things funny. That's the thing. Every single person told me, like, all MCNs that I was with, all the managers, my mom was on my back about it. Like, yeah. stop saying bad words. Stop. So I was just like, okay. And I started cutting every bad word out. And, like, like, I thought for the longest time I was like, no, this is my brand. This is what I have to be. But then I was just like, it's not worth it. You're just talking about your brand. Now, do you consciously craft your brand? Like, do, if you're like... No. I, I don't like, see, I don't like, 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 I said brand, but, like, I'm just kind of myself, you know? Like, so, like, I just don't, like, like I don't think about it, like, this is, this is me, I gotta keep doing stuff like this. I just do my, do me, you know? And then that's, like, kind of... So this is, because, see, is the funny me. thing is, is these rings were one of the first things I noticed. Yeah. And, like, I wondered in my brain, like, did you, obviously wondered in my brain, like, no, I wondered in my elbow, mm. wondered in my head, um, you know, if that was, like, part of I don't know because people do and wear different things that stand out in order to like make them them you know yeah you know I just started like I wore I had like one ring and I wore it and like I had this girlfriend one time and she was just like she actually are, told me to get like another ring like it would look cool so then I got another ring and then I just started like adding to that and I just like started now I have like all these rings and like these are the rings that for these specific fingers. Like they don't fit on other fingers. Like they all are for these fingers. Like if I put this one on here, it'll be too loose. But yeah. So this is just my style. This is just who I am. Like obviously, there's like certain things that I I just won't do. But that's because I don't want to do it. Not because it doesn't go against my brand. You know. Mm -hmm. I I do think it's interesting because like I think we are getting into a time where it having an identifiable thing about you is only going to work in your benefit. Right. And you're seeing a lot more creators, and it's kind of like something I always talk about. Like. Um, from like the WWE day, they used to like date a wrestler from right. WWE and you like did? learned all these things from like... Which one? John Cena? No. Come on. Was it no. Batista? Well, how do you know these wrestlers? Was it Batista? No, it wasn't. But I know him. I interviewed him actually. Oh my God. Yeah, so yeah. That would be like a sight to see, you know, big old Batista and little old you. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, my ex was six foot six. Wow. Yeah, but he didn't... Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna... So this is no, let's weird. get into it. No, this like, is now uh, <laughs> taking it all with Brennan Taylor. Let's yeah. hear it. <laughs> but I did learn, and he was talking about things like putting like a pink stripe in the front of your hair and like wearing big curly hair, whatever it is, like identifiable things to to help yourself like cut through, you know? Because there's so many people like they have all these I guess, with, like, like blonde hair. No, like, I guess basic, like if you know? you're like starting out or something, I don't know. Like if you like if you're trying to like start from nothing you have to have like yeah. a certain thing that's like oh that's that person yeah but me like i just this is me you know do with like the long messy hair green eyes rings like that's just who i am i guess you're also like uh, you have like a unique look about you too though that's my brand so, uniqueness you don't need to actually like change too much i have yeah. a little beard and mustache that's my brand too 
So what are your different revenue streams right now? I kind of um, I ask everybody this. Just like YouTube merch. YouTube merch, okay. Uh, YouTube, comma, merch. Did you have your business manager do, set that all up? Or did my, you go to like my mom is my manager. Or? So oh, she's, she's always like doing things for me. So like she handles like literally everything. I just do the creating. Was that her background? Like what did she? Well, she went to school for like business management and stuff. Oh, that's perfect. So she just never used it. But yeah, so she like helped me like like companies would hit me up about merch and then we finally used one and then we decided to do it ourselves. So like now we're doing it ourselves just on my own website. And then um yeah, that's that. Well, I'm really curious to get your opinion on this because you really crush on every platform. It's like oh, quite you. amazing. Like if you were to attach yourself to one social network, which one would you attach yourself to? And mm. then I'm going to ask you some other questions kind of around social media. Uh probably like Instagram because okay. like I just like taking a lot of pictures and like Looking flat, yeah. fresh. Okay. I just, I don't know. I just like, I like Instagram a lot. But I mean, obviously, I like all the other platforms. But Instagram is just like, I'm trying to hit a million on there. I'm like six k away. Do you think it's easy to grow on there? Um, like versus YouTube, because I'm also now thinking if somebody's watching this and they're like, what do I, what should I make content on? However, obviously, subjective to the types of kind, like, what do I think they like making? I th yeah, it's, it all depends on what you like making. If you like making little short form skits, like. Why don't you just post them on both and see which one works better? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, post it on YouTube, post it on Instagram, post it on everywhere. It's funny though because I find there were times where people could grow a lot easier on different platforms. You know, like right now, I'd say if you, if someone hopped on Musically right now, you'd have a really good chance of hitting like more people than you know maybe Instagram. But Instagram maybe like two years ago, I found was like really easy. Mm -hmm. To just grow. I saw something recently. I think I got an email from Instagram and they said that there is like a hundred million people like searching through hashtags every single day. Like, and I got that from, from Instagram because they send me like, because like I'm close with Instagram obviously, and they send me like just like update, creator updates and stuff. And they said like a hundred million people click through hashtags. hashtags each day, and like 200 million people watch live streams a day. So it's just like, honestly, like Instagram seems like it'd be like the I don't know. That's the thing. Like, cause I don't. I'm not starting. I've never like. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I started on Vine, it was just like, it kind of happened, and then it, I grew all the other ones. So I don't know what it's like to grow from nothing. From like, you know what I'm saying? It's funny. I heard something really interesting the other day. I was looking at Tana Mojo's. Oh, Tana um, Mojo kills it. She really does. Um, I looked at her live stream the other day, and this like kind of blew my mind. I don't know if you've ever gotten a call like this, but like she goes, so my manager just called and said I have to go live on Instagram. And she's like, basically, like, I have to go this this next week. It's only going to, like, really help in the algorithm, like, this next week. Oh, really? What? Are I you no kidding? Idea. So you don't have, like, I don't, Instagram saying this kind of stuff No. See, like, because, like, her, my manager, like, is my mom's. So, like, so she's, like, like not, like, I feel like I'm closer with Instagram than my mom is. Mm -hmm. So, like, I talk to Instagram. So, like, I'm actually bringing on another manager or, like, another, like, manager type because, like, my mom's even super swamped with stuff now. So, like, we're bringing on another manager now to, like, help source more and, like, you know, like, source deals rather than, like, just, like, fluctuate deals. So, we're, um... Okay, Finding okay. people, is like, it's, it's hard. Like, you gotta really just trial and error a lot of people and see, like, who vi who you vibe with. It's just, like, that's all. Do you know if your mom's just putting this on, like, Craigslist or something? Like, how is she even oh, finding no. these people? Like, I'll go... Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> The managers that we like contact uh, like ma manage other friends of ours, like other creators. Okay. And like, then I'll talk to them and like we meet up. Like so they're really cool. Okay. I mean I'm just asking because like maybe I don't know. Oh, like, this reminds me. I just missed. What I, did you miss? My manager's thing today, or my one, uh, my the guy that I gotta text him real quick. All right. Pause. Pause. All right, and half fix that problem. Yes. We're good. I okay. have I have ADD, so my my mind is like everywhere all the time. Do you actually? Yeah. I, I have ADD never, and ADHD. I would never have thought that. I, I'm crazy. I was crazy in school times. I but feel like you have like very good focus though. No, I I try, but I forget everything all the time. Like I if my that's why I have my mom because like she's really on top of things and will tell me like. Like, she'll tell me I have a meeting at 2, and then it'll be, like, 1 o'clock, and she's like, are you headed to the meeting? I'm like, oh, shit. I'm putting on my clothes That's and, like, going. That's crazy to me, because I... But I have selective memory. Specifically, I didn't even, like, give you a follow-up, like, cool, see you soon. I was just, like, waiting to see if you would, like, show up. Wait, to this? Yeah. Of course I would show up. Yeah, but I didn't... I didn't... I, w I wanted to see, like, if that would actually... Because I think some people could forget. Oh, I forget you know, all the time. Like how, like, there's but things. like, I put see now I'm starting to work on my time management and stuff, so I put stuff in my calendar, so mm -hmm. I get reminded now. 
And I also have, I have a physical calendar at home where I write stuff down because I'm like that bad. Wow. All right. Tip. Get a calendar. Get a and calendar. Use your phone. Yes. Guys, I hope you learned something. Um, Brennan, thank you so, so much for being here. I give every single cre uh, creator or guest, whatever you want to say, because sometimes they're not always creators, mm -hmm. um, but I give them basically 30 seconds to plug whatever it is that they're working on, where people should go check them out. Uh, and then we can come up with a question of the day. Cool. Well, um, before that, before I shout myself, I want to say thank you for having me. Aww. It was really fun being on the show. And yeah, you can just check out all my stuff. Brennan Taylor, just search me up and I'm there. Yeah. Search me on the web, brennantaylor.com. Or just Brennan. I still or can't just Brennan. just got Brennan. But I also have Brennan Taylor on Instagram, so you, you can find me through either. Do they like forward to each other or are no, they two no, different no. accounts? Two different accounts. I have a backup account, a main account. Oh, I need to go look at this. Yeah. So I just post random selfies on the second one. Oh. Huh. It's all cool. The things, all the things. So do we have a question? Do you have a question you like to ask people or? Um, yeah. I'll ask everyone that wants to be a creator out there, why do you want to be a creator? Do you want to be a creator because of the money or do you want to be a creator because you like to create? Like, what's the real reason behind that? Ask yourself that, you know? You don't even really have to answer it, but just ask yourself before you like get into this crazy business because it is, it's crazy. And if you're not ready for it, then it'll just eat you alive. So why do you want to do it? That's a really, really good question. Thank you. Well guys, um, that's it. I'm going to see you next Thursday with a brand new podcast. Uh, in the meantime, work hard, be kind to one another, and hopefully one day you'll be raking it in. Talk to you soon. Bye. Jumping off camera. What did you grow to on Vine? Uh, so we ended Vine. Um, and when you ended, you had how many followers? 1.6 million. That's insane. Yeah.